Hey everyone, it's Bradley Bush again with another algebra video for you. Today we're talking about the linear factorization theorem, and it's a actually a pretty cool theorem. So this is exciting. Our to-do list, the definition of a linear factorization theorem will come first. What is the linear factorization theorem? And then we'll do a worked example. I'll also put the times in the video description so you can skip ahead if you like. Linear factorization theorem. Well, if you have a polynomial, f, and this is just the definition of a polynomial in generic terms, and n is bigger than or equal to 1, so this exponent up top n is bigger than or equal to 1, and the first number, a sub n, the leading coefficient, is not 0, then the linear factorization theorem says that you can rewrite f as a product of all of the roots or solutions of the polynomial. So or in other words, x intercepts. So if you take all the x intercepts and plug them in for the c's, and then you take the leading coefficient, again, which is the a sub n, and you plop it out front, there you go. That is uh, a rewritten version of your polynomial f. So we can always rewrite the polynomial as a product of all of its linear factors. And then we can't forget the leading coefficient out front. So that's actually pretty powerful. And I might use LFT for short for linear factorization theorem. Here's our worked example. So if we have the function f, here's f right here. I just had it in yellow. x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. If we graph this, we can see clearly that there's a root or a solution or an x-intercept of negative 3, negative 1, and positive 2. So we can see the zeros of the function are negative 3, negative 1, and 2. So by the linear factorization theorem, we know that we can rewrite our polynomial f as all of the roots multiplied together and then our leading coefficient out in front. So let's put those in right now. What is our leading coefficient? A leading coefficient is 1 because there isn't anything in front of the x cubed term. So let's write down 1. And really, we don't really need to even have it because 1 times anything is just itself. So we will actually leave that off. But we know that it's there. So what is the first root? Uh, negative 3. So instead of c1, we're going to put in negative 3. And the second one is negative 2. Sorry, negative 1. So let's put in a negative 1. And the third one is 2. c3 is 2. So we'll put in a 2 there. The negative and the negative uh, with in the very first, the x minus minus 3, that gives us a plus 3. So we can actually change this whole thing to just x plus 3. And the negative negative 1 can change also into a positive. So let's make that positive 1. And we're done. We have rewritten our polynomial f as a product of all of the linear factors. Hope this was helpful. It's actually a really cool tool. And if you liked it, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.